Are you somebody who buys television on every sale because it's available on no cost or low cost EMI? Hello and namaste Paycheck Pro. I'm Manish Aujha and this is Paycheck to Profit India's first YouTube channel dedicated to your financial freedom. On this channel, I make videos on 4th, 14th and 24th of every month where I talk to you about how you can manage your money, how you can invest your money, how you can grow your money and reach to your financial freedom at the earliest. If this is the first time you've come to this channel and you're watching this video for the first time, may I request you to please subscribe to the channel, take a moment and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified every time I come up with a new video. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about 5 ways you're probably mismanaging your money. Let me give you a small disclaimer. This does not mean that every person who's watching this video is mismanaging their money. These are probably just some of the most common used ways in which people mismanage their money. The first way you're probably mismanaging your money is that you don't have insurance. If you don't have life or medical insurance, not just for you, but all the people who you love and who are dependent on you financially, please take a moment and try and figure out insurance for everybody who can get insurance in your inner circle. This is very important because let's say, God forbid, if something wrong was to happen to somebody's health who's dependent on you financially, that one medical expense can set you back really, really bad. I tell you this from my own experience because my dad at one point of time was admitted in the hospital for two and a half months and out of which almost two months he was in the ICU. That could have really set us back financially to some extent if we did not have insurance for him. So take a moment, reconsider, get insurance for yourself and all the loved ones who are dependent on you financially. The second thing that you're doing, which is probably making you mismanage your money is that you're not investing enough time, effort, energy into learning how to manage your money better. I know this may sound very counterintuitive or maybe even funny that to invest your money better, you have to invest your time first, your energy first, your efforts first, maybe invest some more money in the process of learning how to manage your money better. This is very important because most of the people who are watching this content are not coming from a financial background per se or don't have a thorough understanding on how to manage their money, what insurance to buy, which mutual fund to invest in, is equity the right way to invest, how can you get yourself a new apartment, when can you manage the finances in your life. There are so many questions involved regarding money. So you, what you really need to do is take some time, effort, money, energy out and invest your time in learning how to manage your money better. The third way that you're probably mismanaging your money is that you are in debt. Let me give you a small clarification here just in case if you're in some sort of a circumstantial debt where you had to take debt for some personal reason that's a completely different story. I'm talking to people who are living in the whole concept of a lifestyle debt where they are owning luxury phones on EMI or they are buying a bike which is almost six months of their salary on EMI because it's a luxury expense or something like that. You get the picture. Today, most people are living in debt and that is a really, really difficult situation to deal with. I've made a video earlier, probably the first video that I posted this year where I spoke about if you are earning a paycheck with a lot of hard work at the end of the month, if you're putting some money into somebody else's pocket because you owe them, are you working for yourself or are you working for them? Hence, if you are in debt, which is more of a lifestyle debt, I would like you to reconsider and reevaluate your expenses a little better. Talking about managing your expenses better or reevaluating your expenses better, one thing that you can definitely start on ASAP basis is to budget all of your expenses. This is very easy and important because if you're getting 100 rupees or 1000 rupees at the end of the month as your paycheck, where exactly are you spending those 1000 rupees? How much of those goes into your rent? How much of that 1000 rupees goes into your ABC subscription or XYZ streaming service that you've been subscribed to for months at a stretch? Just budget all your expenses and you will know how well are you managing your money on day to day basis. The last thing that I would like to talk to you about which is definitely affecting your financial health on a regular basis is are you somebody who buys television on every sale because it's available on no cost or low cost EMI? Are you somebody who entered a departmental store of your choice, went on a complete haul for your wardrobe and paid the entire amount on your credit card on a no cost or a low cost EMI? 
ट्रस्ट मी आई एम गिल्टी ऑफ मेनी ऑफ दोज थिंग्स माई सेल्फ बट वेन आई रियलाइज हाउ बैडली इट इज अफेक्टिंग माई फाइनेंशियल हेल्थ लेट्स जस्ट से आई हैव बिन गिल्टी ऑफ दोज थिंग्स इन द पास्ट माई प्रेजेंट इज इन अ मच बेटर सिचुएशन आई प्रोमिस यू I understand that some of these points would have hit hard but trust me my idea is just to get you aware and make you realize that earning your financial freedom is a journey and every step that you take in the right direction takes you closer to your financial freedom and every step in the wrong direction just delays your path I hope this video has added some value to your life if you like the video please do like it and share it on social media I'll now see you in the next video until then please keep smiling take care of your loved ones and stay happy catching